Today we're going to show you how to date your Browning SA22 takedown, semi-auto, people call them all kinds of stuff. Alright, first of all this video is not going to cover the early guns. These were made from 1914 to 1955. These were made by uh, Fabric National. These are the old top loaders. If you see that hole in the top, that's not what this video is going to cover out right here. That's what this video is going to not cover. So if you have one of those, that's the early gun. But we're going to cover, and this one did come out first year production, 1956. When you got that wheel sight on it, those were used from 1956 up until about 1961, and we're going to show you where to find the serial numbers on these. Now, these early guns, they can be on a bunch of different spots. The later models, it's going to be on the bottom of the barrel. We'll get to that. The later productions, or the early productions, I'm sorry, it's going to be right on the receiver face. This one's A is an Apple 989. On the early guns, you're going to find them on the receiver face. You're going to find them on the butt plates, or you're going to find them on a little plate that sits inside here. So, on the early guns, they're sometimes hidden. People don't know where to find them. That was done from 56 until 61. We're going to put up a serial chart showing where you can, so you can date them. Oh, if it's got the A prefix, you know it's a 22 short. If it's got a T in the serial number, you know that's chambered for the long rifle. Anyway, we're going to put up that serial chart now and show you what that looks like. So in 61, they went to these flip-up sights. Now, they can have one big screw or they can have two small screws. So if you see this flip-up sight on the rear, that means it's going to be a 61 up until 73 if it's a Belgian gun. And what you're going to see is a serial number in one of a few locations. It's either going to be on the side of the receiver on the bottom, or in this case, it's going to be on the bottom of the barrel right here. And what they did was they went to a prefix in front of the serial number to date your gun. Now they kept the T for long rifle and they kept the E for shorts. This one, for example, is an 8T, so it's a 1968, and the T means that it's a long rifle. But anyway, we're going to put up a serial chart so you can see from 61 to 73 the prefixes that they used, and we're going to show that to you now. Record. So in 74 they moved production over to Japan and Japan had a different way of dating their guns. In the middle of the serial number you'll find two letters that correspond with the alphabet like uh, Z is one and X is two and so on and so forth. Anyway we're going to put that chart up but Browning still makes these guns to this day and what you're going to find this is a grade six and you're going to see the serial number right here on the bottom and this one for example right in the middle of it has N V, which when you correspond it with the alphabet will make it a 1995. And that's it. So, like I said, these guns have been around for a long time. They're still in production. But uh, you find your serial number and you match up to that chart, you can figure out what year they're made. Thanks for watching.